Good morning, everyone. I want to share something with you. Okay, I've been in lawn care and landscaping for about seven years. I've learned a lot, messed up some things, uh, made a lot of things grow. And as I continue to learn and grow and do good and even screw up sometimes, right? <clears throat> I found that I really, really, really enjoy learning about soil and soil biology and its effect on the environment and, and things of that nature. So what I'd like to express and share with you is that I'm on a mission. I want to change the way we look at our lawns. I want to change the way we look at lawn care because uh, very often, you know, I get calls from people asking for advice or customers uh, all kinds of people right it's my business it's what I do it's what I love and I try my best to answer these questions but often what I hear is you know I saw a brown patch or I saw this or I saw that so I went to Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace or wherever you know and just bought something to put it on there and it hurts a little bit because you know I I remember the days of knowing less than I do now and just trying stuff and me personally I especially as I grow a little bit older and wiser like I really don't like just you know tossing stuff to the wind and saying hmm see if it works like Especially now with what I know and knowing that most of the stuff we're using is doing more harm to The current condition that we're trying to fix more harm to the environment more harm to ourselves. I'm not for that at all <clears throat> I am for the environment. I'm for soil biology. I am for beautiful healthy lawns um, Just in a slightly different way than what is typically advertised right this you know picture-perfect lawn idea is it's not ecologically sound, it's not economically sound, and it's just unrealistic. So some of us can be all, f you know, freaked out about stuff in our lawns, and it's like, hey, wait, why are you trying to kill the clover? That's a free source of nitrogen. Chill out. Why are you trying to kill the dandelions? That's like some free, soluble calcium, so chill out. You know, I get it. Things out there like chinch bugs and take-all patch are not good but often we see something and try and you know fix it right and we don't even know what we're doing so I encourage you to quit that okay do a little homework do a little research and if all else, if, if, if all else fails okay go buy some micro life products because there's other good organic stuff out there pay the couple extra bucks and get it right the first time with some good micro life products I'm not paid by them I'm not a sponsor I just believe in what their products do they're amazing I use slightly different stuff because you know I've found a, a way for me to provide something to the public with the same basis that they have at a slightly cheaper cost for me you know being in business you gotta think about that but for the average consumer and person and you know guy in their lawn Go get some freaking microlife stuff. Like, it's gonna fix a lot of problems naturally. It's amazing. Uh, but again, you know, I'm on a mission. I wanna change lawn care. I wanna change how we look at it. I wanna help do something amazing for the environment. Okay, because as one person, I can only do so much, but I know as this momentum builds and gathers, we can do a bunch. We can change a lot. Like, you know, a 40 pound bag of fertilizer is 40 pounds, right? Well, times that by a million. That's 40 million pounds, right? I mean, the numbers rack up quick, astronomically. So, the more of us that try and change the way we do things, the, the faster and bigger the momentum will build exponentially. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And it can either work for us or against us depending on how we work with the environment and supporting soil biology. I know it was a little bit of a long video. Thank you for listening. Please like and share it. 
This is AJ the hippie with a haircut. Hug a tree and appreciate the soil underneath your feet. Peace out.